Opinion Why President Buhari should not let Biafra exist. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. In the past month, the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and the Eastern Security Network, ESN, have been disturbing to the, in the southeast region. Kudos to the federal government for apprehending their leader, Namdi Khan, and putting him on trial. The violent activities of the members of the separatist group, including announcing sit-at-home orders and disrupting economic activities in the southeast region. All this they did without remorse. Every time tragedy struck, the cessationist group that denied being part of those engineering the tragedy. All the activities of the separatist group mentioned above are both unconstitutional and uncalled for. President Buhari should never let Biafra exist because a division will prevent some tribes from entering into the new nation. Most members of IPOB have grievances against tribes like the Fulani and the Hausas, and they will not allow the tribes into their nation. Another reason is that Nigeria will no longer generate, I beg your pardon, revenue from any state that is no longer part of her. As a country, we we'll have all it takes to build a good country and a division will create room for loss. Other states nest the order. A division is not wanted by the majority, so it should not happen. Nigeria as the giant of Africa. A separation will make other people think less of us. The federal government should not let these violent agitators prevail. Furthermore, President Buhari should not allow the country to divide because according to the constitution, I beg your pardon, constitution of the country, anyone who threatens the peaceful coexistence of the country should be charged with treason. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB have been prescribed by the laws of Nigeria. Power should not be given to a separatist group that has been tagged as such. President Buhari should vehemently oppose the existence of Biafra because peace is priceless. I quite disagree with the last statement. Peace is priceless. But this so-called peace is causing a lot. It is causing a lot. Peace should be in agreement. For peace to reign, a lot of things has to happen. A lot of things has to happen. Now, both the Yoruba nation and um, the Biafra nation, they both want peace. Look all around you. Is Nigeria peaceful? Citizens of Nigeria, are you peaceful? Or, I beg your pardon, are you enjoying a peaceful, are you in a peaceful place as a nation? Everybody has eyes, everybody can see for themselves what is really, really going on. Things are not the way it used to be. Check us at a time where there was peace everywhere, where there was calm, where there was serenity, serenity I beg your pardon, where there was stability and security. We are all regions, not one, enjoyed peace a long, long time ago. In fact, that memory is almost faded. It's almost faded in, 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 our, in, our, in our head. That memory has been shot to the deepest recesses of our hearts. Now, what is peace? Peace should not be at the expense of another one. Nigeria is said to remain united. Now, for this unity to happen, should it be, shouldn't it be a coming together of all regions to agree, to come and disagree to agree? You state your grievances, and whatever your grievances are, solutions are preferred, and not just preferred, they are being acted upon. Now, saying you want peace when some people are not contented, the Biafran nation are there, the Yoruba nation are also there. These people have been treated fairly. In fact, all citizens of Nigeria at one point in time, if you are just a commoner, an average Nigerian citizen has have been intimidated, have been marginalized, have been oppressed. Go into the streets and do the survey and you will hear it. A lot of people in their places of work, in their places of business, there is no, way, no, no one that will not tell you at least a good number, 80 to 90 to 95 percent of them will tell you they have all suffered the marginalization. Now it is getting too much and they say, what is the solution to the problem? Let us get the attention of the government. They have been trying to get the attention of the government for a very long time. 
electorate have sent letters, petitions have been sent. A lot of things have happened. They have said so much. People have represented them in these things. But what have you? Silence, nothing. And you say there should be peace. There cannot be peace where there is no equity. There cannot be peace where there is no justice. There cannot be peace where there is no fairness. There cannot be peace where there is when one region, one particular region is the only person enjoying the peace or is the only region enjoying peace. One region cannot enjoy peace alone. Neither can one region enjoy unity. Unity should be enjoyed and peace should be enjoyed by all the, the regions of the country. There should be equity. There should be justice. There should be fairness. There should be nothing like nepotism. There should be no biasness in allocation of funds, appointments, or resources. This thing should be looked into. You cannot just come and say there should be unity and, or there should be peace, and at the end of the year, you are doing nothing to work on it. That means you want a peace that is not given from the heart. You are taking the peace by force, hereby causing more havoc, wrecking more havoc on the citizens. Yes, Nigeria can stand a lot to achieve together, but what if Nigeria achieving right now? There is insecurity in the street. People are saying they are being marginalized. Everywhere you turn, there is oppression and intimidation. Nobody is listening to these people. Nobody is saying, come, let us hear you out. You cannot come out and you make such statements just because you feel that one particular region or just one region is enjoying um, the peace. It should, not be, it should not be so. All regions are supposed to enjoy the same peace you feel everyone is enjoying. If you're enjoying peace and one other person is not enjoying peace, then there's a problem. You should check for it. In the past, I used to think that those clamoring for one Nigeria are patriots. But it is now clear without beer France, Nigeria has no meaning. The Nigerian is stark giant of Africa because of beer France. The most popular black nation is beer France. Okay. One Nigeria is because of the oil in Biafra land. The only thing that binds this unholy union is laziness. It is, is it not because of fear that hunger and underdevelopment will rip and kill some people if Nigeria splits? If you are brave enough to stay on your own, let me stay and let us see who survives. Mr. Writer, you should be begging Biafrans to stay and continue sustaining you because you confirm my assertion that Nigerian cannot exist without Biafra. Nigeria cannot exist with Biafra. Okay. The thing is, the truth should be told. A spade should be called a space. A spade, I beg your pardon. Haile Salisi of Ethiopia told General Ujuku that the reason why Ethiopia will not support Biafra is because if Biafra becomes a nation, Africa will be infected with the disease of other people imagined as a nation too. Today, the first country to break up after Biafra war is Ethiopia. A rich break up away and formed an independence nation. South Sudan break away and become an independence nation. Emperor Haile Selassie did not live to witness the break of his country. He must have been apologizing to General Ujuku in the land beyond for not supporting Biafra. General Yakubu Gowon and Theophilus Danjuma are going round Nigeria confessing their unforgivable sins saying that Indibu should forgive them for their role in killing millions of innocent Igbos in a bid to stop Biafra from becoming a nation. It is too late. My prayer is that all of them, including the above writer, should live to witness the emergence of sovereign independent nation of Biafra, God's kingdom on the face of this planet, Earth. Okay. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen and staying to the end. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.